U.S. President Gomad over Buhari's decision to give the Boko people a place to practice in Nigeria. Look at, we are talking about how to settle the little um, one we are having. Buhari is trying to worsen it by, you know, adding to it. You see what we are talking about? And someone somewhere somehow will be saying that eh, eh, that eh, Bari knows nothing about these people and um, Bari is innocent of, of all of this. Who told you that? Who told you that? Huh? In this very content, Bari is spotted saying in Popa claim, claim that that uh, he see that, that he, he sees no no that is not a problem giving the Boko people a place to practice to practice their religion in Nigeria, trying to concur with uh, with the advice given to him by one uh, popular Islamic cleric known by um, uh, Sheikh Gumi, and this Gumi is someone that um, that. They have been lamenting about that they should pick up because of his uh, opinion on terrorism. In fact, the guy is a suspect if care is not taken. Now, in this very content, the U.S. President Joe Biden, in fact, was spotted spitting fire. Okay, you know, uh, challenging President Mubarak to dare take such move. You understand? Because giving him reasons why. He shouldn't even think about it because these people, they are not only animals, but they are more than an animal. Do you understand? And that is just the humble truth. So I, I tell you, you will be pissed up by the time you get to know about this. Let's check the content, my dear listeners. This is Morning News. Considering the opinion of a popular cleric, Negotiator Sheikh Ahmad Gumi, who said that the Nigerian government is making a number one, number of mistakes in their quest to end insecurity and terrorism in the country. Gumi said this during an interview published on Sunday Vanguard this morning. Speaking on the IPOP Iswa Boko people and Ansaro Boko people, Gumi said that IPOP and Iswa are the only two groups that want to destroy Nigeria. According to him, the only effective way to deal with terrorism is through dialogue. With dialogue, you can get their faction, like the Boko people and Ansaru, and use them to fight the other Boko people, he said. President Mopari, looking into this, has concurred with Ahmad Gumi, passing the notice to the United Nations, the, UN, the U.S. President Joe Biden has frowned to that very decision, saying that Boko people are seen everywhere and mostly the Fulanese. He said that in the United States, a lot has happened and a lot of killings has also occurred. He said that we have most of them in Nigeria and it is very important that we begin to fish them out. He has one present more worried to take up an important move to see that these people have flushed out of Nigeria. Making reference to the Ansaru, he said that the Ansaru are also the Boko people, that these people go about looking for who to get involved. He has pleaded that Nigerians must be at a lot because these people are very much everywhere he wants. Thank you so much, um, um, uh, Joe Biden. In fact, if we keep having more of your opinion, I believe that things will, be, will, will definitely fall in place. Um, on this very matter, I will tell you that these people are everywhere just as... Uh, it has been noted in this very content. I advise Mr. President to, to, to concur with the call by the U.S. President because it's not going to go well if at the end of the day, Mr. President uh, do the otherwise, which he is all, always known to do. 
he always want to do his own mind and not to execute, not to accept people's opinion and execute it as the people as requested as requested is quite very bad all right uh, let's quickly start hearing from you and let's know what your take and what your opinion on this may be don't forget to comment they are still very much of great importance don't forget to leave them below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you